What's going on, people? I have an interesting article that this brother uh, that subscribed to me on YouTube and Twitter had sent to me. And he asked my opinion on this. Now, usually when people ask me to uh, give my opinion on certain videos or articles, I really don't pay them too many mind. I don't pay them too much mind, right? But this one's interesting here. And you see the title, Mass Grave with Remains that Could Be Black Prisoners Unearthed in Texas. Now, as you read the article or listen to the video, you will find that these black prisoners weren't just normal prisoners, but they were slaves. These were slaves that were buried, prisoners and slaves, forgotten black people. Now, he asked my opinion, and I had the opportunity to listen to another black woman on YouTube that gave her opinion, and she, of course, was a bit upset and angry, um, and she was correct in everything that she said about it. But the first thought comes to my mind is, if they, I'm going to refer to them as they, white people, I'm going to refer to them as they, uh, the children of the slave master. If they don't care about you now, while you are alive and well, and unfortunately a lot of us are alive but we're not well, but I'm just going to say, you know, for the sake of argument, while we are alive and well, why do you think they should care about you or your ancestors that were buried and hidden. Now, I'm going to let you listen to this video, but before I play this video, I want to bring your attention to a video that I made back in time. It was probably like 2012, maybe before then, and I have it posted. I had to repost it on my new dream channel because for whatever reason, I had a dream channel and YouTube removed that dream channel. Maybe my dreams was, was revealing too much information or too many hidden secrets, so they decided to remove that video. But I'm going to put a link to that video on the bottom. Now, once you go and check this video out of a dream that I had, a while ago regarding people that were buried and hidden and how I was being guided by a sword. After you finish watching that video, feel free to subscribe to that channel, The Indigenous Dreamer, and check out my videos on that channel of the different dreams that I have. Now, I hadn't really been posting like dreams I've had lately. I had a couple last night too. Um, that I have to post on there, but check these dreams out, but I'm going to post a link to that video where I dreamed about things that this article is talking about. And then I'm going to give my brief thoughts and opinions on this. But I want you guys to listen to this video. Your home in Fort Bend County could be built on top of unmarked graves. Yeah, we are talking about folks living near Sugarland. Several months ago, we told you about an unmarked cemetery that was discovered during a construction project for Fort Bend ISD. On Monday, the district and the Texas Historical Commission plan to release new details about who is buried there. Experts are telling us this is likely one of several cemeteries waiting to be rediscovered. Jessica Bork, live near Sugarland, with more on the story. Jessica. This is considered an active archaeological site where forensic analysis of these remains found is still underway. Experts say residents should not be surprised if one day remains are found in their own backyards. Construction full speed ahead at the site where nearly 100 unmarked graves were discovered back in April. A judge granted the Fort Bend ISD permission to proceed with its project, a $59 million career and technical center 
all while the careful process of exhuming the remains continues. My understanding is is that this was the largest uh, previously un, uh, undiscovered grave site uh, in the state. Crews discovered the remains while digging. They're believed to belong to African-American prison inmates more than a century ago. It's very interesting to see Sugar Land grow and develop. It's also very interesting to uncover some history. Back in April, I spoke with local historian Reginald Moore, who believes there are unmarked graves on thousands of acres of land throughout the community. He wants a dedicated graveyard for all of them. I just wanted to be a spokesperson for them and make sure that they get some type of recognition and acknowledgement. Moore says the remains of slaves from sugarcane plantations, as well as black prisoners forced to work the land, are likely buried in open fields and underneath homes. That would be interesting and scary, I guess, at the same time. Remains perhaps more readily discovered while building a backyard pool, for example. Joyce Lee lives next to the construction site and says it might not prevent residents, however, from building. No, I don't think so. No. Because they have a, like, a lake here and they didn't find anything. She's talking about retention ponds excavated in many subdivisions near the burial site, which itself at one point in history had been part of a plantation. Neighbors say moving forward, developers need to keep in mind the area's past. If they're going to develop something, they should uh, have a little respect for the what might have been there before. And I'm told along with skeleton remains, artifacts have also been discovered, evidence of what might have been a pole barn or some kind of agricultural structure has also been found. We do expect to learn a whole lot more on Monday. We are live this evening in Sugarland, Jessica Ford, KHOU 11 News. Now, I really don't know what to say because a lot of thoughts and emotions go through my mind as I listen to this video and as I read the article. Life goes on. And I know that's a bit hard to chew for some people. But life goes on. My issue and the first thing that stood out to me was the judge ordered that the construction go full speed ahead. In other words, forget about these dead bodies, these black dead bodies that we found. Forget about this piece of history that's now forgotten. Now, I'm sure that if this was some Europeans, they more than likely probably would have stopped construction until those bodies were resumed and they were given a proper burial. They would have paid respect to the dead. But even the Asian female that was questioned and asked whether people would still be interested in buying or building homes when they know that there's a grave site there. And she said, no, because of the lake. So the lake, having a home on the lake was more important than the dead body of these black slaves. Now, also another thing that stood out was the news reporter was more concerned about the piece of history. They weren't even looking at these remains as humans. That just goes to show the mindset, the subconscious mindset that many white people and even black people have regarding the history of America the slave history of America. Now in Florida, now this is in Texas, but I was born in Florida and Florida is full of plantations. It's plantations all over the place. And you'd be surprised at the number of dead bodies that are still buried that's not discovered. Many lost people, many lost black people, and even white people. 
But there's a lot of dead bodies that's under the earth, that's hidden, that's buried. People that have lost their lives, even in your lifetime, and they have not found, but yet your home, your apartment building, and that could have a lot to do with all of the evil, the possessions of people and the hunts that people have in their homes. I also had a dream too, and I think I put a video on that channel, where dead people were actually getting up. They were black people. They were raised from the dead. They were getting up from their graves, man, and black people that were still alive was trying to communicate with them. They seen their dead loved ones walk in the street. They got up out of the grave and just was walking the street and people that were still alive were trying to communicate with them. But in this article, they had no respect at all or show no type of heartfelt sorrow, and I don't expect them to, for these dead black people that were slaves. Now, I'm going to read the article, and like I said, I'm going to post that video link on the bottom of that dream I had. It's a vision, actually, and you guys can go check that out for yourself, man, but I dreamt this a long time ago, man. You'd be surprised what's hidden and what's buried. Every now and then, I go in my backyard, man, behind uh, my garage, and I look. Because there's a, a little lake or creek right in my backyard. And we're living in times, man, where you're liable to find a dead body anywhere. I don't care where you live. You know, you can live in the hood. You can live out in the suburbs. There's dead bodies that's just there, have not been found, have not been discovered. There were news articles where people actually found dead bodies in their backyards. But my thoughts on this article is, is you know, it's, it's, it's just seeing them working on that construction site and all of these bodies that's being discovered and they're told that it's okay to continue doing their construction work. Life goes on. Life does not stop because a dead body of black slaves were dug up and discovered. Now I'm interested in seeing how many black people in Texas and across this country will unite and protest that those bodies be properly buried and given ceremonies. Some of your relatives may be buried. People that they have not even discovered yet, your ancestors. You know what? There's people on YouTube, man, that's always making videos about these DNA tests, these ancestral tests that's not even real. But you get excited and you cry because of the fact that somebody says that you're from Africa or somebody says you're from Asia or somebody says that you that you have Italian in you or European. And I'm talking to black people. There's people that have have cried because they finally had an identity. But now here we have a piece of history as that news reporter says, that's dug up in Texas of your ancestors. And I wanna see how many black Americans that claim they really love black people, that's always on the protest line, especially those blacks that's in Texas. I must sit back and see if this is gonna go unchallenged. They should not be able to continue con uh, construction until those bodies are removed and properly buried. But again, like I said, life goes on. You just can't stop your life, man, because 
you found the piece of history, but I guarantee you if they were white, they would show more respect. So I'm going to read a portion of this article and I'm going to put it up, put the, uh, put the link on the bottom. You guys can check it out for yourself and you can share this article. Construction crews discovered the remains while digging. They're believed to belong to African American prison inmates more than a century ago. The property owned by the Fort Benz ISD on the corner of the University Boulevard and Chatham Avenue is now considered an active archeological site. Experts say forensic analysis of the remains found in April is still underway. On Monday, the Fort Bend ISD is holding a press conference along with the Texas Historical Commission to talk about the status of their investigation of these remains and the delicate process of preserving them. In the meantime, local historians say residents shouldn't be surprised if remains are one day found in their own backyards. This just goes to tell you or to show you how horrific slavery was here in America. They're telling you, they're now warning you, letting you know that you could have your dead ancestors under your home, under your apartment building, where life goes on. And knowing that these are grave sites, they still built on top of them. Remember that movie that came out a long time ago, Poltergeist? And these people bought this house. Now, the real estate owner knew the history of that house, but really didn't tell them. And they moved into the house, and next thing you know, the house was haunted. Things started to happen. And then they found out later on in the movie that it was built on a graveyard. And many of those dead people haunted that home and the people that lived there. Now, that's television. But a lot of times, television tell you the things that's true. Construction is for forging ahead at the site whereby nearly 100 unmarked graves were discovered back in mid-April. Now, we're not just hearing about this until now. A judge granted the Fort Benz ISD permission to proceed with its project. In other words, just go ahead and keep building, y'all. You ain't got to stop. These are just a bunch of black folk. You know, so again, if you, if, if, if they don't care about you now, what make you think they're going to care about your ancestors that they found buried? Besides, they were just prisoners. You notice how they say they were just prisoners. And later on, it came out that they were slaves. Same thing, prisoners. But we're conditioned in this day and time that prisoners don't need love. You're a prisoner, so nobody really cares about you. This is how, this is what I got from this news article and from that video. Oh, they're prisoners. Because that's what they put in the article, prisoners. Construction is foregoing ahead at the site where nearly 100 unmarked graves were discovered back in mid-April. A judge granted the Fort Bend's ISD permission to proceed with this project, which is a $59 million career and career and technical center. The careful process of exhuming the remains continue, however. And I'm going to read a little bit more and I'll let you read the rest of it. My understanding is that this was the largest previously undiscovered grave site in the state, said Kim Eichenhauer of the Sugarland Heritage Foundation. Construction crews discovered the remains while digging. 
They are believed to belong to African American prison inmates more than a century ago. It's very interesting to see Sugarland grow and develop. You see, they keep talking about growth and development. You know, yeah, they'll tell you about the remains that were discovered, but yet it's very interesting to see Sugarland grow and develop. It's also very interesting to uncover some history, says Fort Bend's ISD teacher, Carla Morton. Back in April, a local historian, then they keep repeating itself, Histori historian Reginald Moore told KHOU that he believed there are unmarked graves on thousands of acres of land throughout the community. He wants a dedicated graveyard for them all. And I'm going to end it right there because it's, it's, it's more so repeating what was already said in the video. Uh, but it's quite interesting. And I'm going to put the link on the bottom to this article. And I'm going to also put a link to that video that I made about uh, being guided by a flaming sword and being showed where all of these un these buried uh, remains are, okay, which I thought was quite interesting. But again, if they care nothing about you now, what make you think they're going to care about these dead remains that were discovered, these black dead remains that were discovered? What they probably more than likely would do is you see where their mind is, so they'll probably take these remains, uh, remains and build some type of uh, historical site and would charge black people to come and see your ancestors. They're going to learn from it, all right? And they're going to charge you, right? So black people just need to unite and protest. You know, if you feel that this is important to you, you need to protest. It's one thing to sit back and, and, and gripe and complain and, and talk about what the white man is doing. But if you're sitting back doing nothing, then your 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 crying and moaning is all in vain. All right. So I'm gonna put the link on the bottom. You guys can check it out for yourself. Uh, feedback. Tell me what you think. Till next time. Mood D control.